Good morning students, this is Dr. Ruchira Chaudhary, I am Professor of Zoology. I will be delivering lecture on innate and acquired immunity uh, for BSc semester 1 subject biotechnology. The title of the paper is Microbiology and Immunology, it is for minor subject. The topics to be covered are learning outcomes linked to previous topic, introduction, overview of immune system innate non-specific immunity, types of immunity, acquired immunity, summary, link for further readings and lastly references. After studying this lesson you will be able to describe immunity and its types, able to describe different cellular components, understand first and second line of defense and inflammation and fever. Link to previous topics are basic concept of immune system, protection of body from foreign invaders, non-specific and specific immunity and importance of immune system. This is an overview of immune system in which we will cover innate uh, immunity, first line of defense which are physical barriers, second, in second line of defense we will cover major cellular components like phagocytes, basophils, eosinophils, NK cells, chemical signals, interferons, complement proteins, inflammation and fever. Immune system is a versatile defense system that has evolved to protect animals from invading pathogens, microorganisms and cancer. Pathogens are actually microscopic organisms that cause disease like uh, they are in, when the person is infected by viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites and protozoans. Other environmental substances that challenge the lymphatic system are environmental pathogens, toxins, abnormal body cells such as cancers. So the immune system is coupled with lymphatic system. Immunity is the ability to resist infection and disease. Many body cells and tissues are involved in the implementation of immunity. There are two types of immune system, innate immunity, we are born with this capability which involves epithelium on the body surface or occur in connective tissue, GI system or involves cellular response. It responds immediately to many different harmful agents do not require a previous exposure to foreign substance and in adaptive immunity these components develop with time they are lymphocytes means B and T cells they are major players in the immune response but other cells and participants in the innate system work cooperatively it identifies attacks and reinforces immunity to a specific pathogen so these two categories of immune mechanism work together this is a flow chart of immune system which consists of innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is an immediate response to foreign substances. Adaptive immunity is a delayed response to specific antigen. In innate immunity, skin and mucosal membranes are considered which prevent entry and non-specific internal defenses such as cells, example macrophages, natural killer cells, chemicals like interferons, complement proteins, physiological responses like inflammation and fever and the plasma cells which are synthesized in the blood. In innate immunity, there are two lines of defenses. First line of defenses are physical barriers like skin and mucosal barriers, which keep hazardous materials outside the body. And second line of defense, it consists of phagocytes, which consist of cells like neutrophils and macrophages. They engulf pathogens and cell debris. Immunological surveillance is done by natural killer cells and they destroy the abnormal cells also sometimes. Interferons, they are chemical messengers that co coordinate the defenses against viral infection. The antiviral proteins, it is specific that they do not kill viruses, but they block replication in cells, that is they stop protein synthesis. 
what is complement the complement proteins action on of the body is, is to destroy the pathogens inflammation which is also a second line of defense it triggers a complex inflammatory response limiting the spread of infection and so lastly we will talk about fever which in which high body temperature increases the body metabolism and accelerates defenses and accelerates body defenses and the first line of defense consists of outer layer of skin which consists of hair epithelial layer of internal passageways dermis secretions that flush flush away materials sweat glands like lacrimal glands mucus and urine secretions that kill or inhibit microorganisms like enzymes and antibodies like iga and tears and stomach acid the direction of secretion is one way like urination it can prevent or retard movement of pathogens in the body these are major cellular components of the innate non specific system in which the origin takes place in the red bone marrow and all formed elements except t lymphocyte leave the bone marrow and directly enter and circulate in the blood uh, you can here see the erythrocytes platelets neutrophils eosinophils basophils monocyte b lymphocyte except t lymphocyte which matures in the thymus and then it enters the blood stream there are steps of phagocytosis here a bacterium becomes attached to membrane evaginations called pseudopodia and bacterium is ingested forming phagosome phagosome fuses with lysosome lysosomal enzymes digest captured material digestion products are then released from the cell these are interferons which are signaling molecules basically they are cytokines when they are released by the viral infected cell here you can see in the diagram the virus has infected the cell and thus interferons are formed and they are released outside here they will signal neighboring cells and uninfected infected cells to destroy rna and reduce protein synthesis it will infect cells to undergo um uh, apoptosis and the immune system gets activated antimicrobial proteins are group of small peptides which play crucial role in host innate immunity against broad spectrum of microorganisms like bacteria viruses fungi and parasites then opsonin it coats pathogen to make appear different and that recognizable by macrophages inflammation activates mast cells basophils neutrophils and macrophages to increase inflammatory response cytolysis cytolysis causes cell lysis and it eliminates antigen antibody complexes on rbcs which are killed in spleen inflammation takes place when tissue is damaged caused by a wound or by invading pathogen pathogenic microorganism which induces complex sequence of events known as inflammatory response here re redness is increased which increases the blood flow body temperature rises increase in, and which increases the blood flow and increased metabolic activities swellings takes place which increase in fluid loss capillaries to increase um, the uh, to interstitial place, space and capillaries become more permeable due to release of histamines and other chemicals pain is a stimulation of pain receptors from compression from interstitial fluid chemical irritation by kinins prostaglandins microbe substances and in severe cases loss of function may occur in acute inflammatory response local non specific a uh, type of response takes place it causes for 8 to 10 days it sometimes causes in process of chronic in inflammation it is an in immediate local non specific response the major effector of innate immunity that helps eliminate infectious agents are in the step 1 chemicals like histamine leukotrienes prostaglandins and chemotactic factors are released in second step response in blood vessels takes place which uh, creates vasodilation and increased capillary permeability in the third step leukocytes recruited by a margination and diapodiasis which is the leakage of the formed elements 
also cells undertake chemotaxis and migrate towards up the gradient of chemical agents and bacterial secretions takes place neutrophils eosinophils macrophages clean up the area these are the major events in inflammatory responses which uh, when the bacteria infects the tissue tissue damage causes a release of vasoactive and chemotactic factors that triggers a local increase in blood flow and capillary permeability permeable capillaries allow influx of fluid and cells and phagocytes migrate on to site of inflammation which is called chemotaxis and phagocytes and antibacterial ex exudate destroy bacteria these are the major events in inflammatory response then comes fever which is an abnormal elevation of body temperature at least 1 degree centigrade from normal that is 37 degree centigrade it may accompany inflammatory response and due to excess fluid loss so requires increased increased fluid intake to prevent dehydration these are events of fevers means release of pyrogens such as interleukin 1 interferons toxins from infectious agents drug reaction toxins and brain tumors pyrogens which cause fever fever released from which are released and circulate throughout the body they target the hypothalamus and cause release of prostaglandins and raise the body temperature adapter of our acquired immunity is capable of recognizing and selectively eliminating specific foreign microorganisms and molecules it exhibits four immunologic attributes antigenic specificity diversity immunologic memory and self and non self self recognition antigenic specificity differentiate among antigens diversity recognize unique structure on foreign antigens immunologic memory induces high immune reactivity in second encounter with same antigen and confer lifelong immunity ability of immune system to distinguish between self from non self and respond only to non self molecules is very essential this is an overview of humoral and cell mediated immune response immune system in which antigens like foreign uh, proteins viruses bacteria parasites fungi they enter the body internalized antigen digested by the cell and altered self cell uh, presents antigen to the mast cell uh, t cells t cell receptors recognize antigen bound to mhc molecules binding antigen mhc activates t cells activate t cells then secretes cytokines that uh, counter contribute to activated activation of b cells tc cells and other cells activated cyto uh, toxic t cells recognize and kill altered cell cells b cell increases um, interacts with antigen and differentiate into antibody secreting plasma cells antibodies secreting plasma cells that secrete antibodies and antigen antibody reaction takes place and divorce the antigen i would like to summarize my lecture by saying that immunity is the state of protection against foreign organisms or antigens innate immunity is not specific to any one pathogen but constitutes first line of defense which includes anatomic physiologic endocytic and phagocytic also includes in inflammatory barriers such as epithelium secretions fluid flow cells involved here are phagocytes like neutrophils macrophages eosinophils and natural killer cells chemical sin signals like interferons complement proteins inflammatory mediators pyrogens for fever they also contribute in immunity the adaptive or acquired immune system requires cooperation between lymphocytes and antigen presenting cells the two major population of lymphocytes which are active in uh, adaptive immunity are b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes the high degree of specificity in adaptive immunity arises from the activity so of molecules antibodies and t cell re receptors that recognize and specific anti antigens the immune system 
produces both humoral and cell mediated response humoral uh, response is for removal of exogenous antigens and cell mediated re responses are eliminated by endogenous antigens these are the suggested learnings these are the references and the images are taken from the cube immunology 8th edition for the self assessment i have taken few questions which are which of the following immunity is present from a birth the options are innate immunity active immunity passive immunity acquired immunity and the right answer is innate immunity the second question is neutrophils basophils lymphocytes and eosinophils are physical barriers cellular barriers cytokine barriers physiological barriers and the right answer is cellular barriers in the third question i have asked b cells and t cells are two types of cells involved in innate immunity active immunity passive immunity acquired immunity and the right answer is acquired immunity the last question is the common disorders caused by a pure poor immune system are autoimmune diseases deficiency diseases epidemic diseases liver diseases and the right answer is epidemic diseases thank you keep learning keep growing